Hey everyone, so today I'm bringing you a two-in-one video of this cat look and this really cute giraffe. They are really easy and really last minute. All you need is basically a headband that you can find at any Halloween store. So if you want to see how I created these two looks, then keep on watching. So to start off this Halloween makeup, I'm priming my skin because at a Halloween party you want your makeup to last all night long. And then taking this Rimmel foundation, I just built it up to the coverage I wanted. So you can adapt this to the coverage you like wearing or you can go full coverage like I did. So for concealer today, I'm using one of my favourites, the Ella Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain. I love it because it's full coverage and it's really affordable. So I'm just using it to highlight my face and to conceal my under eye circles and then buffing it in with the same brush I used for the foundation. So to set the areas where I've just put my concealer, it'll come as no surprise, but I'm using my Essence All About Matte Powder. And for the rest of my face, I'm using my favourite Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder and buffing that in. After I've buffed that powder in, I'm just taking this Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray and setting my face. So to bronze up my skin, I'm using this Hoola Bronzer on this really big powder brush. I wanted my skin to be really, really bronzed to give that cat-like shape. So on a smaller kind of brush, I'm running some of that bronzer through my crease and making a very, very cat-like eye shape and then bringing that bronzer down my nose and connecting it into my crease. So I'm just building up the intensity and I'm also running some of that bronzer underneath my eye. So I'm taking that little tapered brush I used earlier on in my eyes with the two matte shades out of the NYX contour kit and highlighting the areas that don't have bronzer because I want a really high contrast between the dark and the light. So after I've highlighted, I'm going to chisel out my cheeks with this NYX contour kit and using the two middle contour shades. So to start the cat's detailing, I'm taking this Maybelline gel eyeliner on a little angled brush and sketching out my nose and shading it in and then I'm drawing a line between the tip of my nose and my cupid's with both to create that cat's face look. So I'm taking that angled brush but I'm taking the other end of the brush and dipping it into the eyeliner to create the little whisker holes. So with what eyeliner is left on my brush, I'm just sketching out my top lip to create the top lid of my cat. What I'm doing is not drawing in my cupid's bow so it's a curved lip and then I'm filling it in with the gel eyeliner. So to make sure that my lip and my nose don't budge, I'm just setting them with this black eyeshadow by Essence. So to start off my eye makeup, to make my eyes really long and elongated like a cat, I'm taking the Too Faced sketch marker and lining my upper lash line and creating a little tear shape at the inner corner to make it more elongated. I'm then going to take the NYX liquid liner because I'm a little bit more comfortable with that creating wings. I'm going to use that to create a wing shape. So I'm running some of this Colourpop gel eyeliner underneath my lash line and then I'm going to take that Too Faced pen again to sharpen up the inner tear duct. So I'm taking that Essence shadow again and using a pencil brush and just smudging it under my lower lashes. And just repeating the same steps on the other eye obviously because I'd look a little bit weird if I walked around with only one eye done. So I'm just taking one of my favourite mascaras at the moment, Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, and coating my top and bottom lashes. You could use falsies, but this day I just didn't feel like putting them on. 
Oh, to add some definition to my eyebrows, I'm using the Chichi Brow Pomade in taupe and filling them in with an Exo Beauty Eyebrow Grooming Brush. So I'm just building up my mascara and then I'm using that gel eyeliner by Colourpop to tightline my eyes. Excuse the terrifying eye right now. So I'm also just taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Protector in Pearl and highlighting my face because I've got to be a glam cat. You can't, can't not wear highlighter. So I'm just taking this Revlon lip balm and applying that and that is the completed cat. So for the giraffe. I did all of the same foundation steps and I'm applying the same bronzer as I did in the cat. I'm just applying it a lot softer because I don't need it to be as dark. I'm contouring like I did and then I'm going to start with the giraffe detailing. So to create the giraffe spots, I'm using this Ben Nye cream foundation. I started using this pointed foundation brush by Real Techniques but it really wasn't applying the pigment that I wanted so I just switched a massive eye brush and then I'm just sketching out the spots. I have they are designed to be really really messy and odd shaped so just either look at a picture of a giraffe for inspiration or just draw some weird geo shapes all around your face. So I'm also taking the spots down my neck, I'm kind of making them bigger on my chest and neck and then I'm taking a smaller brush and creating some small little spots in between the massive ones. So I'm taking that NYX contour kit and the two middle contour shades and running them through my crease and under my eye and then I'm taking the outer contour shade and putting that on my outer V. And then I'm taking the first contour shade to just blend everything together. Blending everything together with that matte cream shade and then I'm taking that champagne colour on my finger and putting it over my eyelid. And then I took the white from the other end and put that on my inner corners to make them nice and bright and to pop them. I've highlighted my inner corner and taking my mascara and coating my lashes to make them look nice and long and black. So to bring some colour into my human side of my face, I'm just applying some of this tart blush and then I'm applying my Becca highlighter under my cheekbones, on my nose and under my, both of my eyebrows. So for lips, I'm using this Go Beauty lipstick. It was a little bit too pink, so I actually mixed some of the foundation that was left on the brush in to make it a little bit more orange to match my spots. I'd obviously finish it here, but I wanted to give it a little bit more dimension, so I'm taking the dark contour shade from the NYX kit and a pencil brush and just blending them into the spots to give them some more dimension.
to make sure my makeup stays all night, I'm just applying some setting spray and that's the completed giraffe. So I hope you enjoyed today's cat and giraffe video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!